Hello everyone, how's it going? My name is Dan the Tutor. In today's video, we're gonna be doing some example problems that use kinetic friction. So just as a quick reminder, we talked about the equation for kinetic friction in the last video, and that is Fk is equal to mu k times the normal force, where mu k is the coefficient of kinetic friction, and it basically describes how rough or how smooth the surface is. A higher coefficient of friction means the surface is rougher, like sandpaper, and a low coefficient of friction means that the surface is very slippery, like ice. And so whenever you see a kinetic friction problem, just remember that we follow the same three-step process as always, free body diagram, Newton's laws, and then solve using math. But now we just have an added little bit that if you do have friction, you're gonna be using this equation at some point. So let's go ahead and get started by looking at some example problems. So first, let's say I have a box here. The box has a mass of 10 kilograms, and I'm gonna be pulling this box with a force of, let's say, 50 newtons, and I'm gonna be pulling it at an angle of 18 degrees. And we are going to have friction this time. This is a rough surface. And I'm gonna give you the coefficient of kinetic friction, mu k, is equal to 0.2. So I'm gonna ask you to solve for two things. Number one, I want you to find the value of the friction force, Fk, and I want you to find the acceleration. And you can try this on your own. You can pause the video and give it a try. But if you're lost, here's how we do it. First, we need to draw our free body diagram. I already have one force on it, the 50 Newton force. We also have normal force pointing up and gravity pointing down, mg. Then the only other force we now are introducing here is friction. Friction always opposes motion, meaning the friction points to the left, and I will call that Fk. So step one is done. Next, I like to say step 1.5, which is I need to break this 50 Newton force into its x and y components because it's at an angle. So because of that, I'm gonna draw a right triangle down here. This angle's 18 degrees and the hypotenuse is 50. And I wanna find force x and force y, the x and y components. So hopefully you know how to do this by now. If I wanna find Fx, it's going to use cosine of 18 degrees because it's the adjacent leg. So it would be 50 times cosine of 18 degrees. And again, that's because cosine is adjacent over hypotenuse and Fx is the adjacent side. And if you plug this in a calculator, then you'll get 47.6 Newtons. And then Fy is gonna be almost the same thing, except that's gonna use sine because it's the opposite leg. So Fy equals 50 sine of 18 degrees. Plugging that in my calculator, and I'll get 15.5 Newtons. Now what I like to do is, I do like to redraw my diagram, now with my component forces on it. So this is still 10 kilograms, this is still normal force, this is still mg going down, and this is still Fk pointing to the left. The only thing that's new is my Fx, 47.6 to the right, and then my 15.5 Newton Fy pointing up. I have two forces pointing up now and that's fine. So this is what my new free body diagram is gonna look like. Notice the 50 Newton force at the diagonal is now gone. It's because I already used that number, I don't need it anymore. I broke it up into X and Y components. So that's it for the first step and step 1.5. Now step two, the sum of forces equation in either the X or the Y direction AKA Newton's second law. So because friction is pointing in the X direction, I think it makes the most sense to do F net X here. So then F net X is all the forces pointing to the right, 47.6, minus the forces pointing to the left, friction, FK, and I set that equal to mass times acceleration. Now if I think about what I know and what I don't know here, I know everything except two things. I don't know FK, my friction force, and I don't know A, my acceleration. So since the question asked me to solve for frictional force first, that would be a good idea. As a matter of fact, I don't even think it's possible to find acceleration first. I think we have to find the frictional force first to solve this. And the reason why that's possible is because friction has its own equation, mu k times Fn, the normal force. Now I gave us mu k, that was 0.2, but now if I wanna find Fn, how am I gonna do that? Remember, there is no direct equation for normal force. What we have to do is F net Y because Fn, the normal force, 
right here showed up in the y direction. So we're going to do f net y. That is all the forces going up minus the forces going down equals ma. So in other words, 15.5 plus fn minus the force going down mg is equal to mass times acceleration. And remember, we do know this acceleration in the y direction because that's zero. The object is not moving up or down. So then that means 15.5 plus fn minus mg, mass is 10, g is 9.8, equals zero. From here, I'm hoping you know how to solve this. If I just do algebra, then I will get the normal force is equal to 82.5 newtons. Again, that's not the answer, but I can now use this normal force to plug into my friction force equation, and I'll get 0.2 times 82.5, plugging that in the calculator, will give me 16.5. And that's Newtons, and that is my frictional force, which was the first part of the question. Now if I want to find acceleration, it's pretty easy from here. We're just gonna plug back into this equation right here. So in other words, 47.6 minus the frictional force, 16.5, is equal to the mass, which is 10, times the acceleration, which is unknown, that's what we're solving for. So 47.6 minus 16.5, is 31.1 equals 10a, divide both sides by 10, and we'll get the acceleration equals 3.11 meters per second squared. And there's our acceleration for that one. Hopefully you don't have any questions. If you do have any questions, please post them in the comments below. But we're not done yet for today because we still have one more problem, and it's gonna be significantly harder. So this is going to be a pulley problem because we love pulleys in physics, right? Yeah, you don't have to answer that. I have two masses here connected to the pulley. I'll call them mass A and mass B. Mass A is going to equal two kilograms and mass B is going to equal five kilograms. I will say there is friction acting on block A because it's touching the surface, but there's no friction on block B because it's not touching any surfaces, it's just hanging from the rope. I will tell you that this pulley system is moving with constant speed. And we'll say that constant speed is 4.1 meters per second. And obviously block B is moving down and block A is moving to the right. And so finally, my question is, I want you to solve for the coefficient of kinetic friction so that the system has a constant speed of 4.1 meters per second. Now, how are we going to solve this one? Well, hopefully you're saying free body diagram first, because that would be correct. The forces I have acting on both blocks, starting with block A. I have mass times gravity pointing down. I like to label it MAG, or FGA, because it's block A specifically, but I'll call it MAG. I have a normal force pointing up, FN. I have a tension force, I'll call it T, pointing to the right. And then I have that kinetic friction pointing to the left. And yes, it is kinetic because we have a constant speed, we're moving. So that's it for block A. Now for block B, only two forces, gravity going down, which I call MBG, and a tension force pointing up. Now, which tension force is greater? The one connected to A or the one connected to B? The answer is, trick question, they're the same because of Newton's third law. They are an equal and opposite reaction pair forces. So that's it for the free body diagram. I'm gonna skip step 1.5 this time because there's no forces at an angle, so that's good. And I can go straight to step two, which is Newton's second law, F net equals MA. Hopefully you remember the secret for pulley problems. The secret for pulley problems is that you're not saying F net X or F net Y anymore. You're saying F net system, which is the direction of motion, which is kind of the clockwise direction. So I'm saying clockwise is positive and counterclockwise is negative. In other words, for block B, down is positive and up is negative. And for block A, right is positive and left is negative. So using that coordinate system, which I like to call F net sys for system. So looking back at my diagram, I would say MBG is positive and this T is negative based on that reasoning. So MBG minus T and then scrolling up, this T is positive because it points to the right, and this FK is negative because it points to the left. 
and Fn and Mag are zero for this equation because they're not pointing left or right, they're not contributing to the motion. So then that means back to this equation, we said plus T and minus Fk, and we notice that the T's are going to cancel out, which is great. So I'm just left with MBG minus friction force Fk is equal to mass times acceleration. And remember, since we're talking about the system, this is the total mass. So mass B was five kilograms times 9.8. We don't know Fk, and that's fine, we'll find it, equals mass, the total mass, five plus two, seven, times acceleration. Do we know that acceleration? Yes, we do. The acceleration is going to be zero. How do I know that? It was constant speed. Constant speed means the acceleration is zero. And if you don't know that, you know it now. So then what that means is five times 9.8 is 49 minus Fk is equal to just zero. So it looks like Fk, my frictional force, is equal to 49 newtons. Now the question didn't ask for the normal force, it asked for the coefficient of friction. So now if we wanna find that coefficient, we're gonna plug into the friction force equation, Fk equals mu k times the normal force. Maybe you tried starting with this equation, but that would not be a good idea because if you tried, you don't know this value, you don't know this value, and you don't know this value, so it's kind of impossible to solve. We had to find Fk first, using F net of the system. So 49 equals mu K times the normal force. And now if we wanna find the normal force, again, there's no equation for normal force. I gotta look back at my free body diagram and I see that in the Y direction, Fn and Mag are directly opposed to each other. What that means is they must equal each other. Also because block A is not moving up or down. So what that means is Fn is equal to the force of gravity on block A, mass times gravity. So normal force equals two times 9.8. In other words, 19.6. And that's what goes right here back in my equation. And if I wanna solve for mu K, then I just gotta do 49 divided by 19.6, and we'll get a value of 2.5. In other words, this is an extremely high coefficient of friction it probably means I could have chose better numbers, but this is still correct, and so we're gonna keep this as our answer. And that's it, that's all the questions I wanted to look at today. Hopefully you learned something new. If you have any questions, please post them in the comments below. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, and bye-bye.